everyone, welcome to LES Matters with Florence Ajala. Today I am doing something different. I am going on a tour, on a visit to the People's Park here in the Republic of Ireland. So I'm just going into the playground to see some of the resources that are available in terms of supporting young students play. So I hope you enjoy this trip, it promises to be fun. I'm going to go through all the resources that are in the park in terms of how it promotes um, children's development. I hope you all can have fun, okay? So sit back and stay tuned while we explore all the resources. So as you can see, this is the entrance to the People's Park, okay? So I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can see. So I'll be doing all the talking in the background and I'm going to show you all the resources that are available in terms of supporting young students' play and development. I hope you have fun and as you come on this trip with me, okay, stay tuned and relax, okay? thank you okay so so this is the entrance to the park as you can see so this is the entrance people would normally come in through this okay so we come in and we go on the path so let's go and see so you can see the green um green garden all over the place so when children comes into the park they will really have fun because of all the resources that are available okay in terms of you know bright and colorful and you remember what i said in one of my video in terms of planning activities for young children you know it has to have enough space as you can see this park you know it has a lot of spaces where children can run around in terms of promoting their physical development okay so children can run around as you can see the park and look at this you know children can also sit down on this you know they can feel the texture you know feel the color as you can see it is bright it is colorful so children can actually explore it they can sit on it they can take pictures okay so this is fun so if children have opportunity to go on this they can explore the texture which would help them in terms of their fine motor skills as well and when they sit on it they can jump on it as well you know it's going to support them in terms of their bodily movement so let's go around and see what other resources are available as well in terms of supporting students development as you can see from a tour around the space you know it's spacious you know children can actually run around it can help young children to you know to run around in terms of like physical exercise as well you know bodily movement it will help them to move around and you know it's nature you know and young children like nature they love to explore nature as you can see lots of grasses here you know the children can feel the, the texture of the nature they can touch the leaves you know they can go around the leaves as well as you can see the children can come around this shade you know just to have fun okay so this is another one as well you know you can see it has different colors you can actually use this to teach children about colors it's bright and colorful it has color blue color green you know it has color red color yellow on it you know it's there's a lot that you can do actually when children come to this place in terms of like you know sitting on this you know they can explore the color at the same time using their fine and gross motor skills you know shaking their body around and when children run around as well so I'm going to bring you around to see the swings that are available here because there are a lot of swings that are available so I'm just showing you around first so that you can see the space so the most important thing parents and adults when you want to plan activity for young children remember I talked in my previous video you need to consider the space like for example if you look at this park it's spacious enough you know children have a lot of opportunity here they can run around you know they can do hide and seek there are other lots of things that they can do so I'm just going to pause the video while I go to where they have more resources in terms of like the slide and the swing okay i'll pause the video and i'll see you in a while okay thank you stay tuned okay welcome back as you can see we have the swing you know the swing the children can go on the swing as well it will help them in terms of like bodily movement you can see there are three things here you know young children can go on this with the help of the adults you know they are uh, the adult helping to you know to push the children you know slowly and in terms of that you're helping the children in terms of like physical development using their whole body movement you know and their fine motor skills because they'll be holding on to you know to the slide of the wings so and you can see you know even in terms of like the swing as well it's nature it represents nature as you can see it's made of wool i'm just going to go around to feel the texture so it's made of wood as well you know so children are exploring nature as well which is going to help them in terms of their creativity i'm just going to show you 
you around look it has the nature you know nature is being represented in the park here yeah, it's colorful and bright you know children can be able to explore and see nature at the same time while they're having fun so i'm just going to show you around again to see so this is another resources as well you know young children can go through this you know they go over to the tunnel and then they come back at the other session you know they come out there so and it's spacious as well look it's space you know it has space you know children can come around you know they can explore run around use their body movement and at the same time social interactions is being prompted you know they're engaging with other children as well they're engaging with the adults they're talking around so i'm just going to show you around this one so children would go through this you know it's like a, it's a tunnel so they're going to go through it from here and then they come out at this they can decide to come out here or they can go through that tunnel as well so they go through the tunnel and then they can come out so it's like that they keep going they keep going they turn around they keep going they keep going they keep going and then they end up coming around as you can hear some children's voices as well you know it's the park it's busy you know it's summertime so lots of children are here having fun so I'm just gonna show you the you know the swing again so children can actually have fun here it's space the children can decide to stand beside this as well you know looking through it it has a all you know a child can see through it's a see through so a child can decide to you know look through it and at the same time you know looking at the swing the other side okay so that's one so the different swing as well we also have another swing so i'm just going to show you around look at the nature you know children can decide to sit down you know the grass put a mat down or put a piece of cloth you can actually have picnic here as well you know parents you can bring your children to the park irrespective of the park this is the park here where i live in the republic of ireland so make use of the park remember i say to you like in times of planning activities for young children you have to make use of the resources that you have so this is the second swing okay so i'm just going to show you around the second swing as well so this is the first one and this is the second one okay so it's four swing here available in this pack so children can actually take ton tons so even in terms of like using the swing with children you can help to teach children about turn taking okay so let's say you have four children you know it's two of them that can use this at a time and the other can take turn and vice versa so it's good you know using the swing as well it's only two you can help children you know to, ne to learn about turn taking and you can see the wall as well you know the floor rather you know it has bright color look at the green look at the yellow look at the red look at the black even the swing it's colorful look at this one it has color blue and color red and silver so you can use this to teach children about color as well okay so the pack is there so any resources that you have whether you're a parent or you're a guardian or you're a teacher make use of it okay in terms of promoting students um, development as well okay so I'm just going to show you around there are other resources available but I'm just going to take my time because it's a busy time you know there are a lot of children here okay so I have to give the children the opportunity children comes first because so I'll give the children the opportunity so I'm going to pause for a while okay so I'll show you the next um, resources that are available so I just you know let you just explore around the leaves as you can see this is a big pack so look at it the nature I love the nature you know the green leaves everything anything that has to do with nature is calming you can see so I'm going to pause the video for a while I'll come back in a minute okay thank you stay tuned okay so so here's another resources as you can see this can actually help children in terms of like music you can see it has the music sign and when the children comes around to shake it it's going to make a sound so I'll try and shake it while holding the video okay so here it is as you can hear look as you can hear the sound so tricky children can actually use this to explore sound it has the music sound already you know children touching it they're going to have fun they're going to sing they can sing as you can hear a child's voice behind this background you know singing so it's it's going to help children in terms of learning about music as well creativity is being prompted okay so i'm just going to shift it around I'll I'm being careful because we have lots of children here as a result of child protection. I don't want to take, you know, I don't want any child's faces to show. Okay, so 
This is another one as well, as you can see. You know, this is going to be for adults, you know, young children rather. You know, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, older children. I'm not going to encourage young children to go on this because it's not safe for them. So this is a little bit challenging for older children. I'll say children from about the age of 10. So, you know, they have to hold on to this rope. They have to use this rope to climb up. Okay, so they climb up and go up there and then they can come back at that tunnel. Okay, so that's it. I'm just going to show you around. I'm mindful of children here, so I don't want to take their faces. So it's going to take me time just to come along on this journey with me. So the way it is, you know, like I said, this is for older children. I'm not going to encourage young children to go on this. So children from the age of 10, they can just go on, you know, up below and then they end up coming down at this tunnel as you can see so you know it's fun there's a lot so this is another one again this is a pole children can actually hold on to the pole it helps in terms of color as well you know they can feel the texture is helping them in terms of like family just because they can actually turn it around look it's turnable they can turn it around it's open in terms of exercise as well so this is another one okay so this is another one children can you know hold on to this and shake it around they can actually sit down on it okay so they can sit down on it and while it's been moving around it's going to up and you know children can decide maybe after sometimes they are tired they can decide to sit down here you know relax you know drink uh drink a cup of water or juice before they continue so i think um I've kind of shown you around. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do a quick video around, you know, turning the camera to show you around. So the most important thing is in terms of planning activities for young children, you need to consider the space. It has to be spacious enough. Remember I talked about in my previous video about planning activities for young children. The environment has to be con conducive. It has to be spacious so that young children can be able to explore around, okay? And, you know, I've shown you all the resources. So I'm just going to turn and go back you know I'm going to show you around again you know the way that leads to the park how you know how spacious it is even before children comes in into the park they can have fun already they can start to walk you know walk around they can decide to walk around they can decide to have fun as well and you know the most important thing is whatever children are doing, they need to have fun. It has to be fun. Anything presented to children, if it's not fun, it's not going to be enjoyable to them, okay? So even others can have fun as well, you know, bringing children to the park, you know, you have fun with them as well. So one thing I'm going to say to you is make use of whatever resources. So this is the way that leads to the park. So it has all the sign. It says, like this says, this play area is for use for children under the age of 10 years only. So it's actually for children under the age of 10. I remember what I say in relation to picking activities for young children, you have to consider the age. So children above 10 years cannot visit this park, okay? So it is important if you have the opportunity to a park, you know, make use of it in terms of supporting your students learning and development. And if you don't have an opportunity to the park, like I've talked you through some of the resources that are in the park that you can use to support your children's learning and development. And the most important thing is let children have fun because children need to have fun. They need to enjoy their childhood okay so i hope you enjoyed this visit with me i'm just going to you know it's a big pack okay so i'm just going to take a picture you know bring you around as you can see the nature it's a lot of nature being represented in this pack because children learn generally when everything is being and if everything is presented to them in a natural way okay so I'll turn the camera around, hopefully I can, so that you can see my face, and then I'll hand it, okay? So I hope you can see my face. Thank you for coming on this journey with me, and I'll see you next time. I'll be doing this once in a while anyway, so just to kind of like, you know, give it a break from all the talking that I'm, I've been doing. I hope you have fun, and stay tuned tomorrow. Please take care. Bye. Bye.